So over here, we have got a wireless charger. As you can see when it's in standby mode, what it does is it pulses looking for a, um, a rise in current. So as you can see on my USB power meter, no current being drawn or hardly any, not measurable. So it sits there doing this. This is a little wireless lamp I made. So it pulses looking for a phone to charge. Alright, let's look at more stuff. So while charging a phone, it is currently drawing 0.14 amps because that's a fully charged phone. That trigger rises to about 600 milliamps when one is drawing a phone that requires charge. Let's look at the waveform. So that's what the waveform looks like while it's attempting to find something to charge. It is 142 kilohertz I measured. So it's got that interesting sort of mixed signal waveform that comes out of it. Very interesting. So you, the the smaller peaks over there, that's your 142 kilohertz. But then you got the low frequency signal mixed in with that as well. Quite interesting what it's doing. So that's the signal while it is with charging. So it becomes a constant waveform while it's charging. Let me show you how I measured that. So what I did is I put another coil around it like that. So that is picking up some of the signal that's currently being um, sent out from the charger. And that's what that looks like. One last thing. If you're using a hard case and you've got these metal targets in the back for a magnetic car phone holder mount, you've obviously got to remove them from the hard case for charging because <laughs> it doesn't work I was wondering why it didn't want to work and then uh, I learned that the previous owner of this hard case had fitted those <laughs> very funny ladies and gentlemen have an awesome no further take care hope you enjoyed it I'll see you next time for more awesome stuff alrighty bye